Hello everyone, it is Coach Nancy here. Welcome, welcome to today's HIT workout. It is 20 minutes and we're starting right with the workout. So if you have not warmed up yet, then grab a warm up below and then come back to this workout. I'm doing a 20 minute series where you can kind of pick and choose which 20 minutes you wanna do that day or you can put, combine them together and have 40 minutes with your warm up and cool down. So that is completely separate. We're going to get right into the workout now. So let's get started. So starting with squat jumps, it's 45 seconds on 15 seconds off. All right. Are we ready? Ready or not? Here we go. In three, two, one. Squat. And then modification is to the balls of your feet. If you are jumping today, straight into that squat jump. I need to fix this bad boy. It's going to fall right off. Squat jump, sit back and explode. A kind of a different angle. It took me a little bit of time to set up the camera because it's a little busy over here. I apologize. Hi, bud. Hi, Jack. What's happening? You want a drink? Jack's not feeling too good today, huh, buddy? Huh? Not feeling too hot. Um, I have a drink for you, bud. There's one on the table. If you get one of those little cups. Time. Active rest. Okay. We're going through each exercise. It'll be three times through the circuit, but we're gonna go through each exercise before we repeat. So next one is burpee lunge. Here, take this cup, bud. Go fill this up, cuteness. Sure, that one has water in it. Burpee lunge. I'm gonna turn this bad boy off. Okay, modification, check it out. Step back, step in, lunge, lunge. All right, if you're jumping today, down back, it's only 20 minutes. We're 45 seconds on. I want you to push through because it's shorter time. It takes 20 minutes to get that heart rate up. Our goal is to get the heart rate up for those period of time that we're working here. Whew. Keep going. My legs are a little bit tired. <laughs> going into this. We had some leg day. Whew. I'm feeling it. Worked my glutes yesterday. Whew. Time. Awesome. How you feeling? Feeling good? Energized? It's how we're, we show up because of how we want to feel at the end. We're seeking a mood, energy boost. Ah. Dip crab walk. Exercise number three of five. You're here. You're going to elbows go back, and then I hit foot to hand, foot to hand. Oh my goodness, I have like hairs all over my pants. Here's your modification. Hips are on the floor, and then reach, and reach. <laughs> Maybe I should um, mop my floor in here, huh? <laughs> nah, rather not. <laughs> Keep going. That's it. I want to go over my four step process for establishing a habit. If you're working to establish a new habit right now, I'm working to incorporate 10 minutes of journaling each day. I've said so many times, I want to get good at journaling. I want to journal. I want to have peace. I want to be able to just have that calm. We're going to flip over. It's a push up um, with a spider walk. So watch the modification. Let me grab a mat for this one. It will be on your knees for modification and then knee to elbow. Okay, here we go. Watch modification here. And then I'm gonna come up, knee to elbow, knee to elbow. And then I come back down and then up. I care more about your form than if you're modifying or not. I do not care about that. <laughs> your body will adapt and it will get stronger. Eventually you will be doing level two, level three, out of level three. But if we're trying to do it too soon, we're not modifying, we're hurting our bodies. We're trying to do it and not executing with correct form. We can do more damage than we can do help. Okay, so working on, ooh, as I, ooh, working on 10 minutes of journaling, I can just, see dust. There's dust all over. Where's my thing? Oh, there it is. Exercise number five, toe taps. If you have a ball or something that can get your feet up, grab that. If not, just think high knees. I want my knees a little bit higher as if I'm tapping a ball. Oh boy, this could go downhill. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. So let me, you can watch the time. For the 10 minutes, 
The four-step process is to learn. So first of all, I learn what do I want to do. <laughs> I want to. I've learned about journaling, the impact it has, how it can give you clarity, gratitude, can help so much with mindset. It's been a big goal of mine. Number two, plan ahead. So if I plan, what time am I going to be doing this journaling? Time. Whew. Thank you, globe. Squat jump, 15 seconds. Grab your drink. Jack took mine <laughs> and a water bottle. Learn, plan. The next one is to prepare. This four-step process works with every habit you want to do. Most habits, I should say. So number three, I prepare. So I have out my journal. I have it marked with the next day's date. I have the journal, the physical journal. I've bought in it. It's ready to go. And I also, with the planning, I plan a time I'm going to do it. So mine's first thing in the morning. Um, not first thing, there's a block of time that I have after I finish coaching in the morning. I take 10 minutes, journal, and then I go get my kids ready for the day. So I have 10 minutes of time right there. Now, the last thing is to execute. So I follow through. Let's review the four step process. Maybe write these down. I will teach these over and over again, <laughs> but this is the system that I've created. I'm sure it's been taught in a different way by others. Burpee lunge lunge, but it's worked really well with those I coach and with myself. I coach myself first, I figure it out, and then I teach others. So for this, learn what the habit is, learn the why behind it, why do you wanna do it, plan, so plan a time, plan a day, whatever that plan looks like, Step three, prepare. Step four, execute. You're gonna be so much more successful rather than just saying, I wanna lose 20 pounds. I need to go through, learn, how do I wanna do that? I need to plan ahead and, and create a schedule to make that happen. I need to prepare and then execute. Right? Feels much more doable. High five. You guys are doing awesome. 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 Okay, dip crab walk. Did I say three times through? It's four times. <laughs> Surprise. Elbows back. Now, let me know what is a habit that you're working to establish. Dip up, foot to hand, foot to hand. What is something that you're working to do? And let's take it through the four-step process. Learn, plan, prepare, execute. So simple. Oftentimes if we overcomplicate our goals, if we overcomplicate those habits, or how often have you thought about something ooh, you want to do, but all that time you've spent thinking about it, you haven't taken any action. You just keep planning, keep preparing, and maybe the execute is a portion that you need to follow through on. You're like, I have no problem with learning, planning, and preparing. It's the execute. And so this could be circling around your thoughts about it. Are you thinking, I don't make time, or I don't have time, or address those thoughts, those thoughts that are keeping you um, from doing the, the habits that you want to do. All right, down and up. Um, just so you guys know, oh, and then knee to elbow, knee to elbow. If you're on your toes, here, down and up. I have a habit training, if it's all free. If you wanna check that out, it will be linked in the description box. If it's not available yet, check the description box. I'm working on it right now, and I'm hoping that it'll be out with this video. If not, keep checking back. <laughs> I'm working on it. I wanna get that to you. I leave linked below any of my free content, any of those, I like to cut my elbows there, knees, any of the stuff that we talk about here, and I wanna support you and help you further in your day, then it's always below. I, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching currently, that's what I do, and I leave that link below too if you wanted more details on it. All right, toe taps, grab your globe. So fun. We had so much fun in our 12-week program. It's the first official program I've launched here on YouTube. And your feedback was everything. It was phenomenal. I'm so grateful. 
that you were here, you showed up, we held each other accountable, and we just feel good. You, your comments of, I'm stronger, I need heavier dumbbells, I, I, am, I, like, I need these workouts, not need them, but they were something that was such a boost to your day. Oh, you guys can't see the time. Hello. Whew. That is my goal. One time as I'm on this own journey of self-improvement, learning how to be the best mom, be the best version of myself, find that purpose, find that, that passion, the things that light me up, I want to share it with you. I want to share it with you. So I hope you're enjoying it. All right, squat jump. How are we going? We're 10 minutes in. Yes, we can do this. Squat jump, squat jump. There's two exercises standing, two on the floor, and then the last one is just to, you know, kick it into high gear. Heart rate is up, I know. We only have 10 more minutes. We get to do this. Our bodies are a gift. They know what to do. You show up, and if you have thoughts of, this is hard, I can't do this, question that thought. Is it true? Can I really not do this? No. What's a better thought that's gonna support you in this workout? Not even a better thought, what's a different thought? What's a thought that's going to best support you? Because we have 50,000 thoughts a day. 50,000, isn't that insane? And so many of them, let's talk a little bit about the brain. I've been doing a lot of learning over here. I'm like, bleh, <laughs> burpy. So your higher brain, it does more of the critical thinking. I have to really expend more energy and calories. This, this like analyzing your thoughts, questioning your thoughts, is that true? That takes your higher brain, this prefrontal cortex right here. So if I'm doing something like, remember how my mom used to always say, oh, I did that on autopilot. You know how sometimes you'll go into a room and you're like, why was I in here, what was I getting? <laughs> or you're dr you'll drive somewhere and you're like, that's not where I meant to drive. You just did it on autopilot where you answer questions just on autopilot. Your, your body just responds. It's to save energy. It's because it can't be using all this higher level thinking for every single decision each day. It just does. So a lot of things are automatic, right? So whew, this workout's having me expend a lot of calories too. <laughs> um, tricep diff. Toe taps or it's called crab. Down, hit it, hit it. Ha! Ah, so fun filming the beginning 20 minute workouts in Arizona with you. I'm back home, but I've just had such a great time just pouring into myself, pouring into my own personal development. I always have taught my students when I taught YouTube. Um, and in the future, perhaps I'll come back to it. I just love it. So when I would teach that, I would say the best value you can add is to yourself. So if I'm gonna invest in something for my business, I'm going to invest in a coach that's going to help me improve or materials that's going to help me, my skill set, my knowledge. And the same thing is true in life. How can I invest in myself? Maybe it's hiring a coach. Maybe it's um, taking time to set goals taking time to listen to positive content? What are you putting in your mind? How often do we catch ourselves just kind of not sitting the day away, but just the day is gone and we watched our favorite shows. We just went through a typical day. Do you feel like you're living your, your full purpose and it doesn't mean that you have to go, 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 do everything. Maybe you need to slow down. Maybe we need to pause. Maybe we need to take that 10 minutes and do some breathing. Maybe it needs to be some grounding exercises. But I want you to live with intention. I want you to live with purpose. I want you to strive to be the best version of you and therefore set that example for your kids. How powerful is that? Not to be constantly critiquing them, but to be modeling what it looks like. <laughs> I was laughing the other day. I was telling Ava, Ava, you gotta put your clothes away. You gotta have your clothes. These go in your laundry basket. This goes in your drawer. And I literally walk out of her room, and walk into mine, laundry everywhere, clothes everywhere. And I'm like, duh. <laughs> 
duh. <laughs> I'm here nagging her about it, and here is my room. Laundry everywhere. <laughs> so it was like an aha moment. The same thing has happened. I volunteered in Ava's class. It was last year. It was a while ago. And I remember looking through. I had to like glue eyes on little bats they'd made. Like, oh, this child had a really hard time cutting. <laughs> like, all right. Lost you there for a second. <laughs> 15 second rest. Um, the story I was sharing was with Ava. This is our last round through, just FYI, in case you were like, victory! Oh, look at, I'm kind of match my little bowl here. Okay, squat jump. So, little Miss Ava's, I, tur I turn it around to see who is this child that has been struggling with cutting, and I think I kind of already blew the end. <laughs> you know whose it was. It was Ava's, my own child. I was like, oh my goodness. That was a moment when I was like, I wanted to judge her parents and say they haven't helped her. And I paused, and I was like, I've never taught Ava how to do scissors. <laughs> like, our crafting has always been coloring. Or I thought she learned it at preschool. I don't know. It was just like one of those aha moments when we want to judge. <laughs> and it's like just that finger's pointing right back at us. Three are pointing to us while we're pointing one finger at another. Just it's so interesting when we take the they or, or you and change it to I. Like I don't have control over anyone else but me. <laughs> And it was just a very humbling time to see I had not taught my child how to use scissors. <laughs> I was probably unintentionally judging. Good, lunge, lunge. Exercise two of five. Squat, lunge, lunge, squat. And by squat, I mean burpee. Whew. Do what I do, not what I say. <laughs> it's another example, right? <laughs> Follow my model. <laughs> Hit it. Good, 25 seconds, that's it. How often do we pick a lot of goals? I want you to pick one. So mine journaling right now. Last year, it was, ah, oh, water. I wanted to drink water. Now it's a habit. I don't have to think. It's that, it's that lower brain. It's not taking all the effort. Think about learning a new language. It takes so much effort. It's learning to read. So much effort, you're decoding, you're thinking. It's hard, right? And then one day, you're reading. One day, you're speaking the other language and you're not expending all that energy. It's now been, the brain has put it to the lower brain where it doesn't have to think about it as much. It's not going to take as much effort. So if you, as you're establishing new habits, keep that in mind. At first, you have to think about it a lot. You have to expend more energy. It's hard, but it won't always be. It won't always be that way. And if our thoughts around it are, this is hard, I hate this, you, you know, they're not supporting the actions you wanna take, you're gonna do the actions anyways, right? You wanna do them. Why not support yourself mentally because it's like doing the dishes. If I'm going to resent them and hate them, they're still always going to be there. So instead of changing that I have to do the dishes, change my thought around doing the dishes. Change my thoughts about how I feel about doing them. It's all in how we think about it. Down, ooh, knee to elbow, knee to elbow. Whew. We're crushing this, guys. You're crushing it at home. You're so close to being finished. I got my knees down. A modification I really like to do with push-ups is I'll go down in a high plank, and then I'll have those knees come down and push up. Good. You can also be here, knees down the whole time, and then knees come up. Knee to elbow, knee to elbow. Ah. Two, one, time. Hallelujah. Okay, final exercise, number five of five, and you're done. I have a stretching and cool down video. You'll go grab that one after this. Okay, let's go. Or if you're doing another workout, say so you're doing an upper half or lower half. So in these 20 minute series that I'm uploading this week, we have upper, we have lower, hit, and then I also have Pilates, core, 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 core. 
Pilates core. The core is 10 minutes. The stretching is 10 minutes. The warm up, I believe it's five. Whew. Keep going. Good. 15 seconds, come on. Get those knees up. Tap, tap. Five seconds. Four. Three. Hallelujah. Awesome. Awesome job. I'm so proud of you. Keep showing up. Set those goals. And with those habits, try the four step process. Learn, plan, prepare, and execute. I'm out of breath. Okay, go check out a cool down video. I'll leave them linked below for you. Okay, bye guys.